So uh, this will just be a quick tutorial on how to use the iReal Animated Ocean Water System. Now, you might be thinking, um, boy, this looks kind of complicated. Uh, but in fact, it's quite easy to use. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to your Environments Landscapes folder and the product is located within that. Um, now in your Oceans folder, you'll see that you have four basic oceans to choose from. So let's go ahead and load one of these right now. And uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to switch to a texture shaded, um, just to speed things up a bit. Okay, so if I were to twirl this down, you'll see that it's composed of three things. There's the surface itself, um, and then there's a foam shell surrounding it, which you can turn off if you want. And then there's the ocean floor. So of course you can change the textures on both the surface and the floor. And since the surface is translucent, um, what you choose for the floor texture, it, uh, it matters a lot. It really changes the entire look of the, of the ocean. So let's go ahead and get this guy animated. So with our ocean highlighted, we simply go to our Animate 2 tab, and then in our AnyBlocks folder, we choose the respective um, subfolder within that and we see that we have four options to choose from and this corresponds to our four oceans so we'll drag our rolling ocean Oh, before we do that we have to add it to the timeline there so we drag our rolling ocean out and that's basically it um, and of course we can loop it as many times as we want and you can see that there's a seamless transition uh, between each loop. Now, of course, these also tile seamlessly as well. So let's go ahead and do that. We double click on our rolling ocean again, and that adds a second one to the scene. And we simply offset it by a thousand centimeters. Um, because each grid is 1,000 by 1,000 centimeters square. Okay, and so you can see that between the two, there's a perfect, uh, seamless transition. Now again, um, we add it to our timeline, and we simply drag the anti block to that one as well. And now we have a. Um, perfectly seamless loop and a perfectly seamless transition between the two tiles. And of course we can add as many tiles as we want, um, but just keep in mind that each tile is about 90,000 polygons each, um, which is a, um, about equivalent to a Genesis character. So the more tiles you have in your scene, um, the more resources will be required. And of course, um, you can also change the materials as well by simply double-clicking on your uh, material of choice. And to change the floor, um, again, you simply highlight the floor and then choose your floor of choice. Okay, and that's basically all there is to it. It's a very simple product, um, but there's a lot going on underneath the hood to make it as realistic uh, as possible. And as a final note, um, I do recommend, you know, if you're going to tile multiple tiles, uh, I do recommend a GPU with a minimum of about 2,000 CUDA cores. Um, 
just for reference, I'm, I'm using uh, 780 TIs um, in, in my system. So um, that's if you're going to use multiple tiles. Um, as a final point, um, the promo reels that I made, I only rendered each frame out to uh, 50 iterations, which is a very, very low um, number. I think each frame took only maybe 30 seconds to render. Um, and that's a, um, a nice um, feature of this product is that it, uh, it doesn't take that many iterations to produce a, a cleaner result. Um, and that's opposed to maybe something a little bit with, with more opacity and translucency like a um, perhaps a, a volumetric light which may require a little bit more. So that's just a nice little bonus about this product is it just it lends itself very well to animating.